Hi, this is Eric Martin with Board Game Geek. I'm here with Thomas Coe from Space Cowboys. And we'll be talking a little bit, not revealing too, <laughs> too much, uh, about Time Stories by Memorial Rosie. Yeah. Or, uh, Rosoy. So, okay. yeah, I will start with uh, the presentation shortly. So, okay. you are a time traveler and uh, you try to uh, investigate in uh, place and time different from you. Know, you're coming for the from the future, mm -hmm. and uh, you will possess uh, you will possess some uh, receptacle mm -hmm. uh, people that will uh, have uh, that uh, live at that time and period. Uh, the people have some abilities different uh, depending on the scenario. So, for example, on this one, I will talk about the base game, which is the big toolbox that can implement a lot of things because you have a lot of tokens and things to, to use. And uh, on the base game, you will have the Asylum scenario that helps you to, um, to uh, uh, be in the game and, and see how it works on the first scenario. But you will have additional scenario coming every three months. Okay. I will come to that later. Okay. Uh, so, so these are the receptacles that yeah. we are going to inhabit yeah. when we go so back to the past. We will, we will have one and he has some background and abilities. The ability can change in the scenario. And uh, he also has sometimes some drawbacks. He has a personality. Yes. And uh, as you can see, uh, as we are going to an asylum, uh, there will be people that can be a bit uh, not very good on their mind. Uh, people that can be a bit strange, but that's uh, all their personality as des described here, and they have different characteristics. So the game is a mixed, so you can see that it's kind of mixed between role-playing game and board game. Mm -hmm. It's in the middle of that. Uh, so you, you will have some, a lot of uh, storytelling in, uh, in the game. So you start the game with on the, ba on the base, and uh, you have a nice panorama here telling you uh, then you will start with a, a card and then it will tell you what's the mission right. and uh, and then you will be sent to the mission uh, you will have often a, a map here that will uh, tell you the different places different room that you can go on uh, from the start okay. it may change I won't tell a lot on it because there is a lot of surprise going on in the story, and the story the main, uh, uh, the main uh, good things about uh, time stories that you create a lot of uh, uh, storytelling. Um, so, for example, here you will be sent to an asylum, and you will have to investigate. So sometimes you will have to explore, find items, try to combine them, uh, try to uh, fight, maybe fight sometimes. Uh, and then you will use the characteristics in order to do that. Uh, then um, I can uh, just start with the first room that you are sent. Uh, the first room is, for example, okay, you have read all that, but it will tell you how it works. Then no. you are going to the uh, day room. Uh, and the day room, you will install the panorama. And then Every time traveler that possess its own character will choose a place where you want to go. But first, you will read the description of the car. Oh. Right, do you yeah. want to proceed? Yeah. You find yourself in the day room of an asylum. It's the end of the afternoon. The room is calm with a gramophone filling the place with sweet music. The low sun illumin illuminates all with an amber light. The nurse in charge of the hall stands near the door. A nice lady. Yes. Behind her, a man is very focused on his chessboard. <laughs> in the background, enjoying the lights of the large windows, a young woman paints frantically. She throws you furtive, disturbed glances. Sitting in the corner of the room, a man gives you a slight wave. Yeah. And there's the setup. So you have all this place described, and then everybody will decide of a place where they want to go. And then they will take the card for the th them, the, themselves and we'll look at it. I will really uh, show that very quickly because I don't want to uh, <laughs> like uh, spoil the things. So you can see uh, things, uh, images, text. Uh, you can find ATEM, for example, for this one, they will t tell you, okay, tech, ATEM 22. Then you will have uh, ATEM 22, which is in this scenario, uh, 
a, jo uh, a newspaper mm -hmm. uh, where you can read things. Uh, so it's, uh, but the main, uh, one of the points with this really fun is that you look for yourself and then you can tell uh, the people, the other people, but with your own words. So, right. I mean, it's not a memory game, no, you, are, you don't read it a lot, you can retell the story. And it's kind of a very fun mix to tell to others with your own words what's going on. Right. Then you because will... Because sometimes you will notice things that... Yeah. That are, are interesting yeah. or important yeah. later yeah. and sometimes you don't. Yeah, and mm. you, can, you can miss things. So if you want to, of course, every action will take time and you have a limited time because yes. all the action you are doing will get you uh, time. And if you want to be sure that, okay, I didn't really get it, then you can move and check for yourself. And both of us, or both of us can look yeah. together. Yeah, we can look together out. and then, okay, we can figure out. But it takes some time, so you have to figure out if it's a good move or not. Of course, when you, you will be at the end of the, on zero, on the track, then it will be the end of the run. Right. And the end of the run is, okay, you are almost uh, dropping everything. It, sometimes you can keep s some small items on, on, on so on but you will redo again. So now you will, okay, how to uh, do best, how to improve ourselves in the next round in order to know more, or do, you, do we want to go in another direction in order to investigate and have a picture of the whole scenario because it's really like what's going on. And you don't know much of the, except that you are going in, into an asylum and that uh, something strange happened and the mystery will be unsolved uh, the, more, the, more, the more you play and the more when you are playing and uh, the mystery will become uh, clear, hopefully. Okay. Uh, you have, of course, mission successful, mission failed, cards there that are telling when, uh, when you are coming to zero, uh, you, you have the mission failed and then you restart again. And if you manage to succeed, then you will read aloud the mission successful. Okay. It could take uh, a few runs to go to the to the to the, to have the, the whole picture of the story, you have uh, so in the base game, which is really a toolkit, you have uh, a lot of things to do. Uh, you have on also another uh, scenario which is called the Marsica. I will be very quick on it, so I will not spoil anything. But uh, it's uh, telling a story about somebody Marcy, which has been kidnapped, and you you are going to uh. Uh, you are going to process somebody. Uh, also the same and uh, and uh, you are going to go into uh, something like a quiet town but uh, you don't know for no except that the fact that somebody is, uh, has been kidnapped and you want to to see what's happening in this town and it sounds like a nice uh, quiet town very very quiet town and uh, so you are impersonating character as well and uh, you will try to investigate and it's a dark uh, scenario uh, where you have to discover things. I don't want to talk too much about it just to say that it's already available right. and that you will have two other uh, scenarios that are coming. Uh, the, the Prophecy of the yeah, Dragon. You have the Prophecy of the Dragon which is set on the fantasy world where you will have to yeah, get stuff. It's like very uh, fantasy role-playing universe background, but and you will have a big, big, big surprise in the in the middle of the of the stories. Uh, uh, and you work have, by uh, Vincent Dutre. Yeah, as well. Yeah. And uh, mm -hmm. and uh, on under the mask is coming on. Uh, so this one is coming uh, in uh, in the end of the year. This one is coming uh, for March, February, March or ne next year. So every two months we we'll have a new scenario. This one is set in uh, Egypt. And uh, there is a really tricky uh, way to handle the receptacle, the way that you possess people, and that's really fun. It's explained as it starts, so I don't spoil a lot of it. Yeah. But uh, but uh, there is uh, each time there is really new things to discover. Uh, there is a novelty in each scenario because it's really a toolkit. Even on the website, there is a toolkit for fans in order to make their own story if they want to, and they will be published on the website. So there is a lot of things to, to do in this game, but uh, a short time to explain. <laughs> okay. All right.
Thanks very much for the overview. I love as well the art is very specific for each yeah. uh, scenario. There is a lot of work on the illustration. It, it mm. was something like putting you in the story from the start, from the illustration, you want to look at it and it say, okay, yes, you have a, a nice panorama of uh, where are you and what you want to do and then you want to meet the people and uh, yeah, the, the illustrations are really like uh, uh, important in the game in order to feel it more. Yes. All right. Thanks very much. This has been my favorite gaming experience for the past three years. So. Yeah. Good to see it out. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.